Hey guys, my name is Hannah and I would say let's have some fun today. So today I want to do with you a good old what I'm eyeing right now video and I'm really pumped about it because there are some products that I'm really really eyeing right now. There are not that many but that what I'm eyeing I'm really eyeing if you know what I mean. So let's get right into this video I would say. So the first thing I'm really 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 eyeing because I think this collection is looking so beautiful and interesting. I never heard of her. I never heard of the brand I never heard about that makeup artist in particular to be honest until she started now like it seems her own beauty brand and I think it's looking so beautiful so luxurious and it's in fact a luxurious brand she started off right there so I got a little bit to the side so I can pull up the things I'm talking about right here that you can see them as well. And the first brand, it's the Isamaya Beauty brand. Those are the things she will come out with. There is a colored pigment eyeshadow palette, 40 pans, multi-finish pigments, increased in a black compact with a ghostly torch suppressed through its lid. The second thing is a Rubber Lash Latex Lift Mascara. The other stuff is a Lip Black Maximizing Lip Serum, a Clear Brow Gel, a Skin Luck Triple Hyaluronic Glow Serum. Okay. A really nice starter pack, I would say, but what I'm particularly interested in is the eyeshadow palette. I think the eyeshadow palette is looking so stunning, there are pops of colors in there, they are looking very shimmery and beautiful and there are also many neutrals in there so you can really yeah, do your own makeup look with that. You can pop a little bit of color into it uh, but keep it really neutral or other, the other way around. And I think it's a really nice looking palette, I love the way it looks. It, I hope it feels really heavy because it's a luxury brand it seems because the palette itself is 95 others pounds. I think Trend Mood showed it to me in pounds. So 95 pounds I think maybe over 100 euros it will be. Really pricey but I have to say maybe I'm not sure yet. But maybe I'm willing to spend this much money if it will be, because it's pounds, I assume it will be available also in Europe. I hope so. But it depends how much the shipping costs will be and la da 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 da, you know everything. And if it's not that much higher than the palette itself, I maybe consider to buy this palette because I think it's looking really really stunning and I'm really impressed by it but if it's too high for me and yeah then I will wait maybe or I will say to myself I won't get it but it's a really interesting palette I'm really interested in this color story in those colors I think they are looking so stunning and sparkly and beautiful the other things are looking nice as well don't get me wrong I think they are looking really beautiful and aesthetically pleasing but I am not really tempted by them but the eyeshadow palette it's really really something else I think the packaging will be a little bit hard to store maybe to manage that um, it will be maybe a palette that you put more on a shelf or something like that because the embroiderment on the front part is really sticking out this body that you can see on the palette and I think this will also be a thing to consider when buying this one but other than that I'm I'm really really intrigued by that but it's really pricey as well so we will see I have to say first glance at first glance I'm not mad about that collection and it will come out at the end of June, like it seems. So I'm really intrigued, I have to say. I'm really, really intrigued, but I will think a little bit about it, if I really want this palette or not. I want this palette, but you know, for a formula that I never used, I don't know really much about, it's really hard often to spend that kind of money for a thing you don't know anything about. 
and yeah maybe i will wait until i see more swatches or something like that and then i will decide but yeah right now i'm really really intrigued by that brand and by that makeup artist and i'm yeah i really want to know what comes next from this brand so the next it's again a palette from Anastasia Beverly Hills. I have to say I'm not mad about it. I think it's looking very aesthetically pleasing and nice. It's not really reminding me of summertime, I have to say. So for me, this palette is looking more like an fall palette almost. And I think it would it would have been nicer if she put this out at fall time around and not in summertime. But all in all, I think the palette is looking really stunning. I won't pick this up though, because I think I have so many colors that's leaning, that are leaning in that direction. And it's a very redundant palette in particular. We saw those types of colors so often and I'm not really tempted to buying this one but I think all in all the palette is looking really nice really intriguing and the shimmers are looking very shimmery at first glance so I'm really interested in the palette in particular I, I know I want to see videos on it I want to see swatches of it and I maybe will change my mind then and will pick this up for me so we will see the pop of lavender wisteria the shade it's a little bit out of place in this palette i have to say it's like she wanted to say yeah i need something that's popping out a little bit more and she randomly decided to put this, this lilac lavender shade in it um yeah i don't know what i have what what i'm how i feel about this right now because it seems a little bit out of place but maybe if you pull it out in the right direction it can look nice with the colors that are around that lavender shade i'm not sure about that but it's looking a little bit out of place for me maybe the lavender shade would be nice with the more muted down brown tones that are in this palette then i think it could be looking really stunning but yeah it looks a little bit out of place for me but all in all i have to say this palette is looking and it's looking intriguing right now for me and it's looking really beautiful and i'm really really huh. i have to say on the first picture the one brown shade called metro is looking more like this really nice warm brown tone but on the other picture it's looking more like an orangey brown i think i like this chocolate brown from the first picture a little bit more because it's more cohesive with the palette then i like the orangey brown because it's again looking then a little bit out of place for me personally it depends there are two different pictures i think the first one is from trend mood and i hear trend mood are really true to the products when they taking the pictures and everything like that so i hope it will be this more chocolatey brown more than the orangey brown that we see in the promo pics because i don't really like that but all in all the palette's beautiful <laughs> i i i have the feeling i i'm saying so many negative things about this palette but i really truly think that it's beautiful and nice looking palette but there are some points in, in this palette that are bothering me a little bit and therefore I think I won't pick it up right away and maybe never but I'm appreciating it because it's looking really nice and I'm intrigued how the colors in particular and overall will look on different kind of people and I will definitely watch some videos on this one. So the next thing you can buy right now it's from Pat McGrath and she released some new skin fetish blushes and highlighters and the blushes are this beautiful beautiful blues that you see right here I'm willing to wait on this ones because it's not something that I want to rush on but they are really looking nice I'm really intrigued by them how they will look when they are swirled together because I think I will mostly use them in that way because I'm I'm not sure if the size of the pants are big enough to fit a brush in it to use them separately to be honest I'm not sure about that 
but I'm someone who really likes to swirl things around so I would use them mostly in that way I think. I'm really intrigued by the brownish duo color, the darkenish brown and the beigey brown and this really really rich red with this more mauve toned shade on the side. So I think those two are the most intriguing for me. They're really dark but I don't know why in the last couple of months I really like to use more darker blushes and put them in a little bit stronger way on my cheeks or I will swirl my brush really lightly around to have control of the color pigment I want. So there's no wonder in that that I really want the darkest shades in here because I really think that they are looking stunning. Maybe I will buy me the colors from her website one day but not right now, not right away. It can wait again on this product but I'm really intrigued and I really want to know how they are performing. And also she released in that collection some new skin fetish highlights with some more and newer shades. I think this is really nice that she put out some more highlight shades for a variety of people so that everyone can have a sip of this beautiful highlighters that she releasing now and then and yeah they are looking also really nice really versatile and i'm not particularly intrigued by them i'm not really want to buy them but i think it's a nice step in the in a good direction for her highlighters to be more yeah versatile for more skin tones so the next thing i'm really intrigued by and i wasn't in a long long time is fenty beauty she released this cherry treat condition lip oil and it seems like it will have some cherry flavor to it and it's looking really nice it's looking so hydrating so juicy i love this picture that it's taking with it i love the applicator it's a really thick beautiful applicator for your lips and i don't know everything about this product is really intriguing for me right now I think I, I didn't invest in a really long time in a good lip oil or something like that because I always use this one right here. It's not a lip oil, it's a lip balm from Pat McGrath and I always use the Dark Devotion Lip Fetish Lip Balm from her and it's holding a really really long time and it leaves in the end a beautiful lip stain and I, I don't know, I really love this stuff and you see how much I use this one. It's almost gone. I will be really sad when the day will come, but I think this is maybe a good placeholder for it, if you know what I mean. Maybe it won't leave a tint or something like that, but I'm nonetheless really intrigued by it. What it says, an ultra hydrating lip oil that goes on clear and Cautions lip with decadent fruit oils and vitamin rich cherry extracts. Condition softens and smooth lips while leaving subtle sheen for a neutral juicy pouch, non sticky formula with a plush doe foot applicator and futures a fruity cherry inspired scent. So it don't seem that this one will leave uh, a stain like my balm does, but anyways, it's looking so nice. So hydrating, so juicy. I think I really want this one. And I think it's something that's really nostalgic almost. The scent, the lip treat oil stuff. Really like it. And it sounds a little bit like those things from Dior that I also really wanted. And yeah, maybe it's a good alternative. Who knows? But I will try it. I will. I think I will try it. I really like the sound of it overall. So something else that I really want to try is the rebranding of House Labs. I think it's looking really, really nice and stunning. So the collection of the rebranding includes a Bioradiant Gel Powder Highlighter for $40, a high power pigment paint for $24 each, a PhD Hybrid Lip Oil for $24, a Power Sculpt Velvet Bronzer for $38, and an Optic Intensity Eco Eyeliner for $22, a Lim Monster Lip Crayon for $22, and the Edge Precision Brow Pencil for $22. So, a nice 
new rebranding with nice new products and not that little of products I have to say there are some new stuff that she came out with and I'm really intrigued by it I'm I think I'm really especially intrigued by the highlighters and the bronzers and maybe also the lip oils because I'm right now a little bit on a hunt for good lip oils they're really interesting me as well the only thing I really 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 wanted ever that much from house labs were, was her blue palette that she brought out but it was so fast gone and after that I lost interest to be honest but I think this was the only item that I really wanted from her brand. All the other stuff never really intrigued me that much. But now I really want to try her rebrand and see what she came up with and it's looking really interesting. So the next thing is a an highlighter and it's from Pat McGrath. It's also relatively new and it's the Highlighter Balm Duo Color in Extreme Cyber Orchid. And the Extreme Cyber Orchid in particular is a an highlighter that's really out there. Really not like every typical everyday friendly highlighter that you can find. But therefore I really like it. <laughs> I think it's so beautiful. It's so... Yeah, so special, so interesting, so nice looking and this is the first balmy highlighter that I'm really intrigued by and really interested in. So I'm, I'm not sure if and when I will buy me this one, but I think it's looking so nice. There's not just this color, she also have some more neutral leaning colors, but in particular this one I'm really interested in. I think it's looking so stunning. And I really want to put this one on my face. Ugh, it's it's disgustingly stunning, guys. I, I love the color. I love this duo combo. I'm I really want to feel the texture of this one. I think this is also that what what's really drew me into this. That I really want to know what the texture is like. It says bomb, so maybe it will be a little bit more sticky. But it's looking really nice and really beaming. And therefore I'm really really intrigued with this highlighter. Maybe a little bit more to be honest than with the blushes. I really if I had to pick up just one thing it would be this highlighter right now because I, I wasn't that excited for a highlighter for a really long time and this is the first one I really want to try so bad because it's looking so beautiful and so interesting. So the last thing in the things that are really intriguing me right now it's from Nablar and it's the Angel Aura Radiant Plumbing Serum Primer. I'm not really that that much of a primer person but this one it sounds really nice and really beautiful and the pictures the before and after pictures are looking also really stunning. The models are looking so healthy and glowy after they use the primer and I really like it. I think it's looking really stunning and it's really intriguing. So I looked today for this primer actually but sadly it's sold out in Germany right now so I can't have it. And I think always as a sign of something like that if I can't have it anymore then it shouldn't be right now and it's okay we shouldn't be together right now me and the product and i'm i'm not mad but if it will come back someday and hopefully i don't have to wait that long but if it will come back i maybe will grab one for me because i really want to know how it feels and how it will perform on my face so i think it's looking really beautiful really radiant really multi-dimensional but on the face it's looking so healthy and glowy and not at all shimmery i hope so but i really like what i see there for sure and so i really want to try it myself with you together of course if I will have it one day in my collection. I am not always that kind of a type that grabs everything right away although I started a YouTube channel I really like to think a little bit more about it but I hope you will be interested in some of the stuff I will buy for myself anyways when I have it and will test it with you together and yeah. I'm really intrigued by this one as well and I maybe will have it one day also in my hands and then I will be more than happy to try it out with you together. 
So guys, this was all of the video. Those were all the products that are interesting me right now. I really just picked out the ones that are really stood out for me personally and that I really want to buy one day or just appreciate from far maybe also but those are really the products that are yeah on my radar right now and that i'm really really eyeing in the moment yeah i hope you like this video maybe you eyeing some products as well from the things i showed you today or maybe you have some other products that are coming out or are out right now that you are really want to have or that you are eyeing so let me know in the comments down below don't forget to subscribe my channel if you like more videos of mine and give this video you a thumbs up and with that being said guys i would say we will see each other in my next video and until then bye